So you have some problems on your Roku remote, regardless if it's a Roku Premiere remote or the Roku Premiere Plus remote. Basically, you may have issues like maybe you have one button that's not working or two buttons or maybe when you like push to the right is delayed um, or like a lagging response or maybe the remote has an issue of it's, um, it's basically ghosting where it's just like moving around on your screen without you even touching it. Anyway, I'm going to give you a couple uh, common fixes to get your remote up and running. Now, I also want to note that this is only going to help about 50% of you guys, but these are really um, easy possible fixes. So the first um, possible fix is make sure that you have your TV on and you're on the uh, Roku screen here. While your TV is on, go to wherever it's plugged into. Mine is right here. Just go ahead and pull the plug like this. Wait 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, go ahead and plug it back in. Turn your TV on, fire up your Roku, and then see if your remote is working correctly. If it's not, we're going to go to the next step. All right, so for the next step, go ahead and grab your uh, remote. And what I want you to do is go ahead and pop out the batteries. Okay, so after you take out your batteries, go ahead and turn the remote over. And then you can see the difference between the two remotes here, okay? The regular Premiere doesn't have a power button or volume rocker. It's the Premiere Plus does have volume rockers and a uh, power button, okay? Anyway, so what you wanna do is press every single button with the uh, batteries out. You wanna spam every single button. So if you have the uh, the Roku Premiere Plus, start off with the power button and go all the way down every single button. If you have the regular remote, just start pressing, every spamming every button, okay? So you wanna keep on going all the way down. Make sure the battery is out, of course. Sometimes, you know, one of these buttons could be stuck from uh, from water, sweat, uh, lotion in here, and it can if there's an issue with one button, it can cause issues on other buttons on the remote as well. So keep spamming all the uh, buttons. Give it a couple whacks like this. Now go ahead and pop your batteries back in, and don't put the back plate on yet. So pop the batteries um, back in. Now go ahead and see if the remote was working. Now if you have the uh, Premiere Plus. You may have to, for you to pair it, you may have to go ahead and press this learning button here. Just press and hold and just wait till the uh, green light starts flashing and then wait for it to pair to your TV. You can see right there, okay? If you have the regular Premiere, then it should just pair automatically, all right? Now, if you're still having issues, then I want you to do the same thing again, okay? What I want you to do again is go ahead and pull the batteries back out. And then do the same thing again. Spam every single button on here with the batteries out, okay? Just keep going crazy with the remote. Give it a couple smacks. Pop the batteries back in and then see if your remote is working properly. If it's still down, then what, what I want you to do is the same step here. Try this same step six or seven more times. If you're still down, if there's still an issue with your remote, then there's a possibility it has something to do with your batteries. What I would advise is get your set um, get yourself um, another set of batteries. It doesn't necessarily have to be brand new batteries. Just get two different, totally, totally different batteries. Pop them in here, and then see if it works. Okay, like I said, this this should only work for like 50% of you guys. But if it worked for you, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down. Again, we should see a 50-50 ratio. Good luck, guys.